Hello my lovely Leos, welcome back to this reading. It's Mia here and of course we are back with weekly readings. So let's dive in January 16th through to 22nd, 2023. Yes indeed. Leos, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not 21 reading. This is a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. Check your Sun, Moon and Rising. Very interesting information. Superbly interesting. Deep in depth. And... Take the messages that resonate and drop the rest. Don't be shy, don't be a stranger. Join in, subscribe, and of course, like and comment as well. Right. Are you ready? Let's dive in. What's coming for you this week? King of Pentacles, like it. Already, Queen of Wands, fabulous. Oh, wow, this Ace of Swords. What a reading. Emperor. Guys, what is going on? What is going on? Righty. And Six of Swords. Right. Aries here. Leo is here. Everyone's here. <laughs> really. And at the bottom we have Ace of Cups. Guys. Two Aces. Whatever your wishes. I just make sure you can see the cards. Whatever your wish is. It's, it's, it's there, baby. It's there. It's coming. It has such a, whew. Leo, this is the one of the weeks I have to say to you, you rock. <laughs> you literally do rock. Look, you know what? Your hard work, your persistence, your resilience, your every single great thing and a little bit about yourself has paid off. Big son. It feels like you are... Either if you are at work, your work's been reviewed and it's going great. It's going really great. And it, look with the King of Pentacles. It's it's King of Pentacles is someone who is very well off, who has a great status, and for the situation, it's going your way. So is the Queen of Wands. So is the Queen of Wands. Every time you you're bypassing the person kind of characteristics. You look at those two cards and you're saying, boy, you are on top. You're really going places. There is some great optimism. There's an overall great energy is going around in your life as well. And it's not just a coincidence. You are making it. You, you are making it. And for some of you, you might be actually surrounded with really great people. It's a blessing. It is a blessing, absolutely. And very often, not it's not what we do that matters but who we work do with matters because we do spend a lot of time in either at work or any other kind of place that is even in family it really matters how what we have around us it feels like you are superbly positively charged it's something you are some sort of i'm not saying chapter closes but it's kind of really you kind of especially now coming out of mercury retrograde who thank god for that you are really getting that second wind back in. You're, whew, let's go. Let's rock this world. And let's make some money money, okay? And let's get some, uh, not party going, but get some really good vibes going. Uh, you are really in charge. You are really in charge. It's, and it was interesting kind of, kind of the period of the full moon that we had in, um, recently, the whole full moon. It was really kind of asking, make sure that your heart and heart, mind is in sync and it is we have the ace of swords and ace of cups here it is talking about the self your mind is super sharp you're feeling good your heart is really leading the way as well and it's great balance to see it is absolutely great balance to see and as well regarding there could be some um kind of sort of new opportunities coming in and i know you hear the opportunities but opportunities are around us all the time there could be some little turn something's happening someone's saying something and it starts gaining momentum and that's how things evolve in a ways now with the emperor here as well it is talking about getting structure really kind of getting your house in order and it's really demanding card in a ways you know you might be don't be working superbly hard and maybe for people who have retired even, this could be that there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, there's so much um, 
things to chase up and either you are having updates in your home or house or you have own things going on and feels like there's a lot on your plate and you kind of literally want to kind of tidy up you know if your email is outlook is completely full you feel like you would like to actually have a good clean out and that's what emperor is kind of suggesting not just for emails but maybe for a wardrobe for a house for people for your peer group whatever that is it feels like there's spring cleaning needed and kind of real structure needed as well and for some of you who is maybe in, involved in some sort of legal um I would say disputes as much, but legal dealings, be um, prepared, okay? If you go to meeting, be really mindful um, that you need to be prepared for any single twist and turn that can come your way and be aware that, um, be very aware that what you say because your words count as well. Now, Emperor is um, Aries, of course, and it's, it's really kind of, fiery right and it talks about the kind of father figure it feels like with now with the king and queen here it really feels that there is a great guidance kind of up a higher upper higher guidance uh guiding you towards something bigger and better um you're coming away from anxiety kind of period kind of stressful period and it feels like maybe some of you are going through the probation period at work or some sort of touch and go thing i'm not going into the health and stuff but it feels that the, some of people some of you might actually improving health as well um and that is good to see indeed now overall energy you're really on top of things it feels like you're really on top of things that even though you are not there yet and success as i always say success means so many different things for each one of us it does feel that you're really on top of things that are going in your world. And you know what I like here as well? Even though you have a great kind of maybe blessing with the people around you, and there is a feel that there is a kind of help from the higher sources, right? However, you are not depending on someone else to come and make you happy. It feels that you are, are taking charge of your life. You're really taking uh, responsibility for what you do and you're like I'm gonna make my own luck Leo and that's how I feel about here you are not waiting for someone to come and yeah Leo here you are uh, here's a bit of luck you know we chipped off the big cake you know and have a little bit do you not no 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 I'm gonna make a cake for myself I'm gonna make my luck thank you very much okay and you're really kind of like and not forcefully aggressive but you're really determined to turn uh, your life around or turn certain things around and get them going get that action going let's have a look what we have for you illusion ooh pisces some spiritual stuff is going on i know i know i know and i it, look four cups boredom and chariots cancer here as well I like to see the chariot here because chariot is definitely a mind over matter. It's very similar kind of um, sometimes the energy as the emperor in some ways because um, he takes no stuff, no BS, no nothing. He's, he knows the road is going to be bumpy. There will be some issues and you are not saying oh, I'm set, I'm successful, I'm not doing nothing and I'm going to live on my own uh, on my old laurels on, on, and that's kind of like feeding the ego you're saying i'm still keep going no matter what i'm 50 60 20 or 80 90 years old i'm still keep going my life is still going and 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 there's no um no no but better time to be happy than now okay and you're gonna go and get it it's not like you're leaving to someone else it's really kind of cement that that first kind of part however um, it could be that maybe you have worked pretty, pretty hard and you have really need a holiday. And that's how I feel it. Uh, I do feel that you need to have a little bit breezer, uh, a little bit, you know. And you have had so much on your plate. Like, you know, the four cups is literally like uh, the man sitting underneath the, the tree. And he has three cups in front and he's just crossing hands. And, and the universe gives another cup. But he's just, no, 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 I can't take it anymore. It feels maybe in a literally you feel, you feel like that I don't need no more extra work. I'm, I'm having full time uh, stuff going on as well. It kind of really feels that maybe you need to kind of get 
in base or get in touch with your higher self do some meditation as well it feels that it kind of um just make sure that you are in sync with your spirits guides your uh, universe and your higher uh, higher self as well now which one we're gonna go for which one we're gonna go for uh this one peaceful resolution yes this week is it feels like you know it it really got off your chest you've been work 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 do 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 be busy 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 and now finally oh it kind of and especially now with the six of swords there might be some issues in your life that kind of you didn't know which one is gonna go and it kind of um gives a great great um omen for that let's have a look what we have here okay take action you are in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself oh well leo you are definitely in touch with 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 your higher self in ways and that is kind of moon kind of conf confirming to um keep in sync you know keep that that dialogue with with your guides or with universe whatever you're chatting with okay it's good to have um because you're not on your own there's always help around as well invisible help you know and it comes vi visible then um look how she's flying she's kind of flying and swimming um and going up only way is up and that is so good to see what a beautiful week leos i'm so um so happy for you and on that good news i'm gonna say thanks so much for being here have a blessed week and i'll see you in the next reading Ta-da!